And in journaling that, how often are you going back and reviewing? I mean, like when it comes to planting time, it's like, all right, it's the fall, or excuse me, the, or coming into spring planting. Do you go back to your spring planting journal and review it, or is it writing it down just designates it to memory? I will be honest. I had an identic memory when I was younger. I had like a, a photographic memory when I was younger, and as I got older, that disappeared big time. Um, so I used to think that I would remember this. Oh, sure, I'll remember this. I'll remember this at least long enough to get in the house, and I've learned that's no longer the case. So um, if I'm going to try and remember something, I better write it down. How often do I go back? It depends what we need. Um, if you need to know, you know, when you planted something in the last, you know, how long do you have left before you should be seeing something or maybe you planted some peas and they're not popping up yet. You want to just go back and go, wait, how long have these been in the ground? Or you can be looking for something to identify when the last freeze was or, you know, wait a minute, what time of year did the, the grasshoppers or the caterpillars show up? There are so many key points of data that we can go back and look for. Rosie on the house, every Arizona homeowner's best friend. 